Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this channel. Um, today's workout is all about the booty band and light weights. Again, I'm gonna use my red booty band, which is kind of, a little, it's on the heavier side, but it's not heavy, heavy. So go where you're comfortable. You wanna feel like you can get a fairly good range of motion without going too crazy, but having good control over it too and being able to move the band, okay? We want to be able to move the band. Um, I'm going to use my three pound weights. I say go between three to five. If you are extremely on the really fit level and you feel like you can use eight pounds um, and you have good control over the exercise and you make sure the weights are not controlling you, then you can try eight pounds. But I like to go between three and five. If you don't have any equipment or you're just starting out just bring your beautiful body and go with the movement because you are going to get some good work out of this regardless if you have anything, okay? Uh, we are going to go um, through three rounds of this. So it's kind of gonna be a kind of a fast, furious, but three rounds of everything. And when I say fast and furious, we're not gonna be going super fast, but we'll take a group of exercises, we'll do three sets of everything, and then at the end, we will do a five minute kind of variation plank challenge, okay? I'll give you options, but we'll do like five minutes of variations of planks, and they'll give you options of elevating your planks to keeping them on the ground. Um, there are so many options, okay? But planks are so good for us. They're so good for developing good core strength which is from our shoulders to our hips. Anyways, I am talking too much. I will get going, guys. I'm gonna put the music on. We are going to work with the tempo of the music. We'll warm it up to begin with, and then we will put those booty bands on and pick up those weights. Are you ready? Let's do this. Yes. Okay, guys, ready to do this? We're gonna take our feet about shoulder width apart. So remember, we wanna set ourselves up for success. So we wanna pull the ribs towards the hips. Pull those lats, those big back muscles into your back pocket. Pull the shoulders away from the ears and zip up that pelvic floor. We're gonna go slow step to the side. We're gonna pull the elbows in. So count of four on four, three, two, here we go. We're gonna go slow, step together, pull the elbows into the back pocket. Now when you come together, try not to flare those ribs right here. This is where we have a tendency to wanna let those ribs pop. You got, let's go four more of those. Four, nice and tall, put the weight into that heel. Two more to go. Then I'm gonna stay with a slow squat and a hinge. Last one, stay with the slow squat. So we're gonna squat, bring it in, give me a little hinge. Hinge back, so shoot the hips to the back. We're gonna stay slow to begin with. Down in the squat, the weight into the heels. Then slow in the hinge, let the hips shoot back, pull that core in. So down, long spine, tuck the lats right into the back pocket, pull the shoulders around the spine. You got it, guys. That's it, last one. Now I'm gonna tempo, pick up the tempo right here. Squat, hinge, squat, hinge. Let's go six more counts, six. You got it. Actually, let's go four more from here. Last four. Four. Three. Two. One more to go. Good reach and squeeze. Are you ready? Now stay right here. Just open side to side. So really opening through the chest and the shoulders, working through the middle of the spine, opening up that rotation through that T-spine. You got it, guys. Can you give me eight more of those? Eight, seven, six, five. Beautiful. Four. Really feel everything grounded. Last two. Then give me two steps to the side. Lateral raise in and in. Little lateral raise here. Oh yes. Little tap. Little tap. Are you ready? We're gonna step touch up now. Just give me a little bicep curl and take it back. We're kind of simulating all the exercises we're gonna do. You got it. You are awesome. 
I use that word a lot. We're gonna do that one more time. Actually, two more times up and back. We got this. We just wanna prepare that body for its workout. Oh yes. You got it. And then we're gonna stay with a single, single double hamstring curl. So stay here, we're gonna go. Single, single, give me two. Let's do that again. Single, single, give me two. Oh yes. Hanging in there. Opening up those quads and warming up those hamstrings. That's it, let's go four more like that. Oh yes. Couple more. Then I'm gonna go back to the top with the slow squat side. Are you ready? Step it in, it goes. Down, back in. Slow down. Pull the elbows in the back pocket. Long through that spine. Remember, you are awesome. That's it. Can you give me four more of those? Four. Squeeze them. Three. That's it. Last two. One more to go. Oh yes, now go back to the slow squat. Nice and easy. Slow squat. Squeeze the shoulder blades, slow hinge. Slow hinge, squeeze the glutes. Let's do that again. Slow squat, squeeze, slow. Let's just go one more of each, here we go. Slow, squeeze, that's it, and hinge. One more time each, here we go, I cannot count. That's it, last hinge, awesome. Now tempo for me, are you ready? Squat, hinge, squat, hinge, squat, hinge. Awesome. Really focus on putting the weight into the heel. Keep that chest lifted. Are you ready? Now hold it here. Reach. Reach. We just got eight this time. Awesome. That's it. Four. Three. Then we're going into that step touch for two each side. Are you ready? A lateral raise right here. Go. Go. Oh yeah. Smiles everyone. Beautiful. Woo! Are you ready? Step touch up right here. Little step. Step it back. We got this. Just a little bicep curl right here. Oh yes. One more time back. Then we'll go single, single, double ham. Are you ready? Here we go. Single, single, and a double hip. Single, single, and a double hip. Beautiful. And a double. I'm gonna do four more of those, okay? Let's do that four more times. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. Last two, then we're ready to throw that band around those ankles. Are you ready? Just march it out right here. Oh yes. Okay guys, remember, grab water whenever you need it. You need to wipe your brow, wipe your brow. Let's pick that band up. We're gonna place that around. I like to kind of go just above the ankles into mid calf area, okay? Go where you're comfortable. And again, zip up that core. I'm gonna pick up my weight. So it's all about putting them together. Remember, if you're more comfortable with just working with one without the band and just the hand weights are alone or vice versa, okay? All right, stack those shoulders back, zip up that core, keep that core nice and strong. We're gonna take it to four squats towards your left side. We're gonna squat, we're gonna curl and press, okay? Squat, curl, press. Two more to the left. You got it. I always have to remember, it's my right, it's your left. That's it, let's other side, here we go. Down, nice and tall, so let the hips come back and down. Keep the chest up, awesome. Keep tension on the band as you step out. So we work those small glutes that keep our pelvis nice and neutral. Let's do that again, let's do that again. Down, awesome, down. We've got one more this side, then four more back to the other side. That's it, four more. So good extension of the elbows, close to that head. You got it, guys. Beautiful. Two more. 
That's it. One more to go. Now step touch four with a curl. We're going to slow with a hammer curl right here. So without that squat, but we're kind of in a semi-squat position. So now we're working just more the smaller glutes along the side of the bum. Let's keep that going. Slow. Slow. You got it. One more time. Then I'm going to tempo and we're going to pump the arms, okay? Are you ready? Here we go. 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 Other side. Pumping the arms, little pumps. That's it. Oh, you can feel your bum now. Awesome, guys. Now I'm going to step touch up. Keep a slow palms up now. Slow. Take it back. Step it back. Awesome. We're coming back up. And we're taking it back. You got it. Let's do that one more time. One more count of 16. Awesome, you guys. And again. One more time. Now hold it here. We're going to go frontal and a lateral raise. So we're going to leave the lower body alone for a second. You got it. So we want to come about shoulder height. We want to keep the body nice and still. Keep the ribs nice and flat. Pull that belly button in. Eight more. Seven. Six. Then we're going to go into a hamstring curl. That's it. So we're going to angle one foot out. And I'm going to go a double arm row with it. So we're going to angle out. We're going to squeeze in. Awesome. So squeezing the shoulder blades, little curl. So keeping tension on the bond, on the band. Like if I can say that. Let's go eight more. Eight, seven, six. Then we're gonna center it again. Okay. Four, three, two. Last one. Now stay center. One at a time. Alternating out. You got it, guys. Squeeze. Solid core. Hanging in there. You got it. We're going to go eight more of those and we'll switch sides, okay? Eight. So I'm going to switch sides so you can see the hamstring when I go into it. That's it. So one in front, one side, keeping it about shoulder height. Remember, zip up that core. Keep that body still. Are you ready? Other side. Squeeze. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Lots going on here. So if you're not comfortable with that hamstring and you just want to work the upper body or vice versa, you go for it. Let's go eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Last two, last one. Now center it up, a Y and a wide elbow, okay? So we're gonna go wide with the arms, a wide squeeze with those elbows. So the palms will be turned in towards you. You got it. Let's go four more. Four. Awesome. Three. Zip up that core, lift those hips up. Last two, last one. Now hold eight wide rows. Eyes are down, keep that core strong, okay? Remember, if you need to come out of this position and shake it out for a second, feel free. That's it. Last two, last one. Now take it back, tap back. Give me a little frontal one at a time. Squeeze, breathe. Awesome, you guys. So think all you're doing is tapping back, really squeezing that glute max. Squeeze, be mindful of what those muscles are doing. We got this, guys. Oh, yes. Can you give me last eight? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Just give it a little shake. Just give it a little shake here. We'll go for a count of eight. We'll go back to the beginning, okay? So that was one quick round. 
we're gonna go back to the squat with the curl and press. So we'll slow squat down, step it out. Down, press up. Down, press up. Awesome, guys. Beautiful. That's it, let's go other way. So remember, you should feel tension on the outside of the band as you go into that squat. Awesome. We're getting all of those glutes involved here. Are you ready? Let's go back the other way again. Four. Awesome. Three. You got it. Two more. Last one. Let's go back again. Down. Bringing it in. Awesome. Two more. One more to go. Awesome. You got it. Now go slow. Slow. Little hammer. Squeeze it. That's it. Other side. Nice and slow. We want to keep the feet parallel straight of us. Straight ahead of us. Let's go back four more. Then we'll tempo it out. And we'll pump those arms. Oh yes. And again. Oh yeah. Are you ready? Tempo pump, pump, pump. Little tempo step touches. Awesome. One more time, then we're gonna step touch up, bicep curl. Slow it down with the biceps, but tempo up. Take it back. You got it. Feel those booty muscles working. Oh yes. We love our bum. Remember, those muscles do a lot for us. They keep us standing tall. One more time up and back. We got this. Oh yes. One more time. Oh yes. I'm gonna let that butt have a moment. Are you ready? Stay here, frontal. Up and a lateral. Right up, lateral. So again, we wanna keep everything about shoulder height we want to keep that body nice and still. So we don't want to let that body do any movement. We want those shoulders to do the work, keeping that core strong. Four more. Going into that hamstring again, okay? Two. Last one, hamstring row. Squeeze. Squeeze. Three. That's it. We've got 16 of these. So this works on a lot of stability and balance. Keeping tension within that band. Eight more. Eight. Think of squeezing the shoulder blades while you squeeze that hamstring. That's it. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Now center it one and one. The one side, one front. Keep that core strong. And again, we want to be about shoulder height. No higher. You are awesome. Oh, yes, you are. Can you give me eight more? Sure you can. Eight. Then we'll get that other hamstring. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Sometimes it's great to do light weight, more endurance here. Last one. Are you ready? Other hamstring. Here we go. Squeeze that shoulder blade. Squeeze them. Squeeze them around the spine. Lots of shoulders from the ears. There's a lot to think about here. Can you give me eight more? Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four more. Then we're back to the center with the Y's and the wide elbow. So we're going to go one Y, one elbow row. Wide. So remember, if you want to put the weight down at all, you can. Sometimes you need nothing when it comes to these. You got it. Four more. Four. Then I'm going to add a little bit more into this. Three. Two. One more to go. Then hold eight more of these, okay? Eight. So really long. Lift that thumb up. Zip up that core. 
keep those muscles in the back nice and strong, holding that spine nice and neutral. That's it, two more. Now before I do the tap backs, I'm gonna come back up, I'm gonna go hinge and a row. Okay, so we'll start with that hinge and row. Are you ready? Here we go. Hinge, let's throw that in. So we get a little more hinge action, little row. Let's go eight more of those. Hinge, row. Squeeze the butt at the top, but don't arch your back, okay? That's it. We got this. Awesome. Hanging in there. We've got four more. Oh yes, we do. Four. Three. Two more. One more to go. We want to work the front and the back here. Last one, are you ready? Here we go. Tap back. Good squeeze of those glutes. Squeeze them. Breathe it. Hanging in there. We're almost through round two. We're gonna do one more round. Keep it going. Eight more right here. Eight, keep going. I'm gonna fix my van. It's sliding up. You got it. Four more to go. Four. They sneak on you. Last two. Last one. Give me a little march for eight, a little march. Give it a shake out. Awesome. We're gonna go back to the squat, slow squat with the curl and press. We'll go four each way. Hanging in there, are you ready? Okay, third round guys, here we go. Down, press up. So keep tension on the band when you come in. You don't wanna come in all the way. Awesome. That's it, really long and strong. That's it, other side. Go, team, go. Awesome. Hanging in there. Okay, we're gonna do it one more time, each side. So four more to the left, four. Three. Two. One more. Then the other side, last four, here we go. Four. Then we're gonna go back to the slow step side with the hammer curls. So you wanna stay in that kind of semi-squat position. You wanna stay lower. Are you ready? Here we go. Slow. Slow. Awesome. Other side. Beautiful, you guys. Good control, good extension of the elbow with those biceps. Oh yes, here we go, four more, four, three, two, other side, four, then we'll tempo with a little pump of the arms, last two, last one, are you ready, tempo, go, go, pump it, go, go, pump it, oh yeah, feel those bums now, loving it. Are you ready? Here we go, pump. Bicep slow, step touch up. We got this. Whew! I can feel that butt burning. You got it, guys. We're gonna do that one more time, up and back. Here we go. Awesome. Okay, last time, then we were going back to the frontals and the laterals, so we can give the bum a break here. Oh yeah. Are you ready? Oh, up, lateral. So a little frontal, a little lateral raise. Frontal, a little lateral. Awesome, so remember, we're shoulder height, we're keeping those ribs nice and neutral, and we're keeping the back nice and flat. Zip up that core. Four more. Then we're going into that hamstring, two, Last one, here we go. Row it out. Squeeze. Shoulder blades around the spine. Awesome, okay, I have to look towards, again, the bench. Keep my eyes on there so I don't fall. Are you ready? Eight more, balance is so important to practice as we age. We need good reaction, we need good balance. If we we're about to fall, we could grab ourselves. Last two. Last one, center it. Are you ready? One and one, one. Again, zip up that core, 
Stay nice and still. Long spine. Awesome. Oh, yes. Woo! Can you give me eight more? You can. You are awesome. And if you need to shake it out, you are still awesome. That's it. Four more. Then we'll switch to the other hamstring. Three. Two. Last one. Switch it out. Double row it. Keep in tension on that band, squeezing those shoulder blades. Now remember, if you're not comfortable with both of them, you can attack one or the other. You got it. And you can always use a chair to hold on to if, to, if you want to just do the hamstring alone. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Then center, go back to the Y's. So on this one, I really, again, encourage lightweight or no weight because this is a hard one. We are working on the back side of us that tends to be way weaker because of what we do in our life. Everything's done in front of us. We forget about the back side and we need to keep it strong. Last one, now hold it here. Eight. So squeeze those shoulder blades. Then I'm gonna go back to the hinge row, okay? Four more. Four. Three. Two. Last one, bring it up, here we go. Hinge row. Back up. Squeeze the glutes. We're gonna go 12 of these guys. Down. Long spine, remember with that hinge. Keep all those back muscles nice and strong. Nice neutral spine, shoulders are back, lats are in your back pocket, sit bones are up. You got it guys. Can you give me four more, last four? Four, then we'll go squeeze backs, last time. Three. Two. Last one. Are you ready? Little frontal ways, little squeeze back. Solid through that core. Be mindful of the glutes. Squeeze them. Breathe in. Can you give me eight more? Oh yeah. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Now I'm going to do the hinge row one more time because we only did two sets. So we're going to go hinge, row. Let's make everything even. That's it. Awesome. Squeeze it. I just really thought that we needed the hinge involved there. Very functional exercises. Remember, we're hinging all throughout our day and we want to have a strong backside so we don't injure ourselves. You've got it, guys. Okay, last four, last four. We've got this. Four. Three. Two. One more to go. One more. Awesome. Give it a shake. Slide that little band off. Throw it to the side. Okay? Then give me a little march out. I'm gonna go back, we'll do that warm up segment one more time just to slow everything down before the plank. So we're gonna step, squat, you got it. Step, squeeze those elbows into the back pocket. That was fun guys, beautiful. So you kinda can always gauge it to see how you felt if you were using three pound weights and you thought, you know what, I could probably do five then you can always adjust it for next time you do it. Or maybe you didn't want any at all. You got it. Now nice and light, squat and hinge. I'm gonna slow that down, okay? I'm gonna do two tempo there. Here we go. So down, back up. I like to keep it slow to begin with, just so everyone really gets the feel of where the squat needs to be and where that hinge needs to be. Let's just do that one more time. Then we'll tempo. That's it. You got it. Awesome. Are you ready? Tempo. Here we go. Squat. Hinge. 
squat, hinge, squatting, hinge in. One more to go, one more. And then go back, whoops, that wasn't a very good hinge, to the opens. You got it. We're just gonna go eight, four, three, two. Are you ready to step up side to side? Here we go. Just give me a curl. That's it. You got it. Just chilling everything out. Four more. Three. Two. Then step touch up. Here we go. Right here. Step it. Step it back. Beautiful. Bring it up again. Bring it back again. Then we'll finish it with a single, single, double ham. Are you ready? Here we go. Single, single, double hip. Single, single, almost fell on my face there. You got it. Beautiful. That's it. So trying to keep the arms slow and legs fast. Makes your brain work. Oh yes. We need our brains to work. Remember, when we're working, bringing up a sweat, we've got our mind body going on. March it out. What we do for the body, we do for the brain. And we want to keep them both working together as a team. We want to do good for them, guys. Okay, grab a little water. Let's take it to the plank, okay? So we're going to work 30 seconds on and off. I'm going to work between side planks and I'll finish it off with some shoulder taps. I will give you options, okay? So again, I'm going to use my board. If you don't want to use the board, you can go to the floor. I will give you that option. And again, if you want, you can drop to the knees. But I recommend elevating and staying in that long plank rather than dropping to the knees, okay? Because we really have all those muscles involved that we want. So I'm going to start off in this position. So if you want to raise the bar a little bit more to a higher level, feel free. I'm going to start with three risers up and I'm going to go in the elbows. So we want to make sure the shoulder and elbows are in line. We're going to take it out. We want to zip up the pelvic floor. We want to make sure we're not dropping through the spine. We're not rolling through the middle back and the shoulders aren't up to the ears, okay? So zip everything. Really long line here, okay? We've got 30 seconds, are you ready? Here we go. So remember, at any time if you need to come out of this, go into a little bit of a child's pose. You can always, again, drop to those knees also, or you can raise the bar where you're on a higher counter. You got it, we've got 10 seconds, guys. Zip up that core. Remember to breathe. Breathing is important. That's it. Now I'm gonna slide you to the side. So I'm gonna take you here, or you can drop the knee, okay? You can also be on the floor if you want, and you can also be in this position. So go where you're comfortable, just elevate those hips. We've got 15 more seconds. You got it. Breathe in, wherever you are comfortable, okay? Awesome. Hanging in there. Last two. Last one, bring it back to the center, zip up that core. Remember your options, remember your options, wherever you're comfortable. If you need to child's pose, child's pose. Keep breathing, we've got 10 seconds here. You got it guys. If you want, and you have to drop to those knees, drop to the knees. Go in where you're comfortable, five seconds, breathe. Squeeze, awesome. Now switch sides. Option again is to drop the knee. Now if you're on the floor, you might want to raise the arm, okay? You can be here or you can be here. You got it, guys. Keep that strong. Let's go 10 more seconds. Make sure those hips are up. Five, four, three, two, and one, center, one more set in the center, here we go. Zip up that core, zip it right up. Remember, at any time you need to child's pose, I want you to, this is about you. Doesn't matter about anyone else, this is about you. 15 seconds to go, guys. Then we're just gonna finish off with some shoulder taps. 
So breathe in, squeeze in. Four, three, two, and one. Just give me a child's pose. Take a breath here. Then we're gonna come on to a full extended plank position. So either on the floor, board, wherever you're comfortable, okay? We've got 30 seconds here, just shoulder tapping. Are you ready? Here we go. Shoulder tap out. Zip up that core. If you're not comfortable with it, I want you just to hold it, okay? Go where you're comfortable, or again, you can raise the bar on where you are. We've got 10 more seconds. Breathe. Breathe. Awesome. I'm gonna count four more. Four, three, two, last one. Shift back into that little child's pose on the floor or again on that bench, wherever you are. Slowly coming back up onto all fours. Take a big breath. Let's hold it here and we'll go into a little bit of a cat cow. And then I'm gonna switch out the music, guys. So taking it into a nice little cat cow. Oh yeah. Alrighty. Okay, guys. So just slowly moving through that cat cow. So I just want you to think of lifting those hips, lifting the eyes when we're in that cow position, pulling the shoulders away from the ears and then exhaling and rolling like a cat. Pushing the ground away and then slowly looking up, inhaling and then slowly exhaling. And then slowly up. One more time like that cat. And slowly release to that tabletop position. Awesome guys. And then I just want you to slowly go back into that child's pose. So you're gonna bring the feet together, the knees apart so we open through the hips, open through the back and the chest. Lots, lots going on. And then slowly walking to one side, taking some big breaths here, opening up to the side of the body. And then taking one more big breath, we will walk to the other side. Nice big breaths. And then one more big breath, taking it back to the center. And then we're gonna slowly place the hands underneath the shoulders. We're gonna tuck the toes. And we're gonna walk into that down dog. Now remember, you can always put yourself on a block. I'm just gonna gently walk that dog nice and easy. We're gonna exhale, place the heels down. Just take a big breath here, nice and gentle. And then we're gonna slowly walk to our knees. We're gonna roll up one vertebra at a time, nice and gentle. And we're gonna roll up those shoulders, nice and easy. And we're gonna open up through the chest. Release the shoulders back and down, and then we'll take the head to the side, nice and easy. Take some big breaths. Letting the shoulders release away from the ears. And you can close your eyes. And then slowly to the other side. And then one more big breath to the center. Take a big breath through the nose. Exhale through the nose or mouth. One more time. Exhale. Give it a shake through the shoulders and the arms. Awesome job, guys. I hope you enjoyed that workout. It's always fun to put the band and the light weights together. It gets a little bit of an extra hit there. Anyways, remember to subscribe. Tell a friend to subscribe. Give me the thumbs up if you guys like it. And please feel free to leave a comment on how you feel about the classes. If you'd like to see more content, I would love to create it for you. Um, you guys are awesome. You're super important to me. Remember, fitness is so important for our health. It works on so many levels, mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. 
So stay healthy, keep moving. You are awesome. You are so worth it. I love you guys and I will see you.